Hi guys, welcome back to another little geeky reviews and unboxing. With this time, it is the Splinter Skull from the Turtles of Grey Skull collection. It is the third one of the Metal Botto Builder Figure range. So we're on the back of his little box. It's all that card art. He is there with all the Turtles, He-Man. You've got April also and as well as uh, Casey Jones is on the back there on the sides you've got them bursting or like what is it it's just in that little crouching position and then on the side he's uh, praying to the gods on that side as well with the metal botto this part has got the the chest piece and the and the shell, chest piece and the shell in this third set. So let's crack this open, have a little closer look. Getting them out of the box, it is just no, like we all know, it's not the comic, it is just the card, and he's there hovering, doing his little sensei pose there. And on the back, it's not the American one, it is the Euro one. Your, yeah, Euro one, is it? So it's just got his name, so there's no bio or anything and no skills listed or anything on that one. So whipping them straight out the box, the first thing I've noticed, especially with the with the arms, is a repaint from Beastman. But brand new head sculpt, obviously. Uh, articulation, he does all the same. As the origins, he's got all the pivot joints, he's got all the elbow parts, knees, legs. The knees are uh, well, the legs are a bit restricted because of this um, this get up that he's wearing. But they still do arch and stuff. There's still some movement there for you, and it's all the same modular type of pieces as well. So the arms. Heads, waist, they all pop off that we've all seen with this Origins. He's got a big long funky tail which does move. It's in, oh, it's in like a little peg hole at the back where you can just slot in. It has got a little pivot on there as well so you can arch it in position in a way where you want to. So he's, he's wearing that King Grayskull type of outfit on there and he comes with a separate cloak piece as well it's just flexible plastic and on the top it's got that round collar piece to like represent the fair look on it so if we just bring his tail down It will just slide over the shoulders and clip in place. I want to see if I can get his little ponytail peeping through as well. So yeah, his ponytail is quite flexible. So you can flip that up there and have it resting. On his back piece, on his armour, he does have those two little peggy holes where you could put a shield, like we all know it's modular so you could put a shield from a turtle or maybe Casey Jones's like weapons carrier or stuff but in the meantime we've got like Metal Botto's little turtle shell shield and it's got all these little pegs in now I believe that is to fit all of the little additional weapons that Metal Botto, Metal Botto comes with but if we just take this cloak off so like I say it will fit if you didn't want to have the cloak on you could just have the actual shield in place there instead and um, while I've got talking about metal bottle metal bottle while I'm talking about metal bottle pieces he does come with the actual body part and this green piece does clip off and it's got all the metal, all the, all the gears inside like Roboto does. Now 
like we just pop splinter in half a moment and pop that body on there because I believe so it does click and turn and those gears do turn like Roboto does as well it's got a little clicky noise and like I say the shield does slot on his back like so so I think we've only got um, we've only it comes in four doesn't it I believe there we go I can't even get that off now there you go it comes in a uh, four set so the final parts will be with two bob steady now that's due to come out in around October time so it does come with uh, this weapon so it's kind of like the power sword and also his little staff it does separate into the middle to create I suppose two weapons and it will just plug in in the center he has got two gripper arms for that reason for having the two weapons but if we just slide that one in like so he does come with more of an open hand as well so if you're having the full weapon holding in one you can just clip this gripper hand out and pop in his claw like hand instead but there he is guys splinter skull let me know your thoughts in the comments box if you've gone down this line are you doing the collector build type of sets while you're there doing them comments do the usual with the like subscribe tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others but like I say it's still scorching so I will be out in that back swigging a few brewskis and I will catch you on the next take care